How do I, F28, tell my husband, M33, that I want a divorce? How do I, F28, tell my husband, M33, that I want a divorce? I'm miserable. So so miserable. We used to be really happy, and like each other. Since our daughter was born, everything has changed. She's almost a year old, and he's yet to do anything to help with her. He sleeps in a different room to me, and the baby, she's still in my room, so he's never done a night feed, or rocked her back to sleep, or anything like that. He doesn't sort her meals, her bottles, he doesn't do laundry or clean the house, he sits on his ass constantly and just plays on his phone. No matter how much I say I need help with everyday things, he always says he'll change but doesn't. We argue every single day. He's self-employed, works constantly and still brings home hardly anything. What he does earn, he takes for petrol in the car, vaping and tattoos. This has been ongoing for years. He has a job for a bit then gets fired and doesn't do anything for a while until he goes to the next thing. For six years I've single-handedly been financially responsible for every single thing. All the bills, the rent, etc. is all down to me. We're in a lot of debt, and I pay my own as well as his too. And obviously now we have a child, I'm also doing all the parenting. I do 99% of her care, and he maybe gives her a bottle once every so often. His patience is awful, and his attitude is worse. He constantly believes I'm cheating. If I'm on my phone he wants to know exactly who I'm texting and what we're talking about. It isn't because he's interested it's because he thinks it's someone else. I want to divorce, and be free I'm already doing everything alone so it makes no difference. I feel like I'm trapped though, he has nowhere else to go if I ask him to move out, he can't afford to get a place of his own. The house we live in is owned by my father, and every bill etc is in my name so I'm not leaving. Doesn't matter what we say he thinks we're happy. He can't take the hint I'm miserable and wish he'd go away. Despite it all I want him to be okay moving forward, and I'm worried about hurting his feelings saying I'm done. I'm worried about custody, and his family, who don't like me anyway, and the impact of that too. I'm worried the opinions of everyone else with this. And I don't even know how to say I'm done. I've been trying for six months to tell him but he says he'll change and things will be different. I don't know how to do it but I know I need to. I'm sorry this is a lot of rambling, just feel like I'm at breaking point with life in general. Mental health isn't great, and I need to escape. I don't want to keep trying to make this work when I don't feel anything towards him but resentment at it. In response to the constant, why did you have a kid with him, comments, because I'm obviously an idiot and I've ruined her life already by dragging her through this. I don't need the reminders that I'm a shit mother. I'm already aware. I'm trying my best for her and she's always first. I'd have started this process months ago but I'm afraid of him alright? I've filed for a divorce. Hand papers. Or have your lawyer do it themselves. You've described someone who is only dragging you down. The longer you wait to dump this loser, the longer you'll hurt. From someone who can appreciate from personal experience a lot of what you say above you've tried to communicate your needs. He's had his chances. You say he's been like this for years. If he hasn't changed by now, he isn't going to. Not in this relationship, anyway. This relationship is not a partnership. You are roommates, and you are taking care of everything. You're a single parent in a marriage with two parents. You deserve better. Of course he doesn't think there's an issue, he has it easy. You take care of everything and he likes it that way. The above point said, I honestly doubt he is actually happy. He's probably just comfortable enough to keep going. Don't worry or be guilt tripped about where he would go if you divorced, how he would feel, etc. That's a false flag that keeps you in a situation that isn't healthy, for reasons that are selfish for the other person. Don't worry about what others will think of you get divorced. They don't have to live in the marriage that makes you miserable. They don't have a dog in this fight, period. Where do you go from here? My advice would be to quietly talk to an attorney. Get your ducks in a row. Plan out with your attorney what the next 6 to 18 months may look like. Let a trusted fiend or family member who can keep quiet know what's going on, so you have someone you can call if you need help ASAP. 
Make sure you and baby are, stay safe. Do not stay together, for the baby. Your relationship is not healthy, which means it is not good for your child, either. As a person who was stuck as a child in a household with parents who should have split long before they did, please don't use the child as an excuse not to leave. Best wishes to you, Op. Growing heart. Sounds like me when my kids were little. Just bite the bullet and do it. Tell him exactly what you wrote here, and that you have fallen out of love with him. Ask him if you guys can be amicable during the divorce process or not. He's going to get angry and have lots of emotions, but those are his to work on, not yours. Focus on your baby and move on. His family won't like you for dumping him but they already don't like you that's a non-issue. You're scared of where he'll go. Well, to said family, let them have him. It looks to me that you should have left even before you had a baby but as you can't go back in time, may as well leave now. Talk to a lawyer, start the proceedings and let him know he has a week to get out. Don't allow him to make you feel sorry for himself. He is 33, he has been an adult for a while and it's his own decisions that put him where he is. Honestly there is no need to feel guilt at this stage. How guilty do you think he feels for having you do everything for him? Yeah, not at all. Let your lawyer tell him. I went through this with my ex-wife and got to the point where I was just sick of being miserable because that's not who I normally would be. I kept putting it off and telling myself things would change, and they never did. Basically what you need to do is tell him look this is what it is and it's not going to change. We need to come up with a solution as to what our exit plan looks like. I don't totally hate you and I'm willing to work with you on things but this is happening and I want to be perfectly clear on that. If you're willing to work with me, I'll be reasonable. If you're going to fight me on this, then I'm not going to go out of my way to make this as easy on you. Basically you need to let him know he's got an option between the easy way and the hard way of dealing with this but in the end he's going to have to deal with this because you aren't going to allow yourself to be miserable because of him anymore. I also divorced someone who was just paying lip service to anything I said, then continued to do nothing to help, and thought since he was happy, we were happy. Tips based on my divorce, which went really smoothly, like, we didn't even go to court or mediation. Agreed on a plan signed it, and that was it. 1. Attempt to keep discourse civil no yelling. No name calling, no cheap shots, no talking trash to other people. No matter how you feel about someone, the easiest and fastest path to separating from them is to communicate reasonably. 2. You don't need to justify your decision. All I told my ex when I left was, I'm done, I can't do it anymore. And I repeated it over and over. Occasionally I might tell him, listen, I told you what I needed for years. I don't need anything from you anymore, so there's no reason for me to go over those things again. I'm not mad, I don't want to argue, I am just done being with you. Giving them specific reasons gives them an avenue to argue, nitpick, and try to logic their way around your feelings. 3. Be practical. Just because you know he doesn't deserve anything from you doesn't mean you should spend more money than they're asking for. My ex asked for what would about to more money and spousal support than he was entitled to, for the urging of his mother I'm sure. I countered with the state guidelines about how long he could expect a judge to rule I would support him based on our short marriage and him not having maintained the household or watched children in his chronic unemployment. I offered 4K, which was the cost of 10 more months of the insurance had carried for him during our 14 months of separation. He accepted, and while I likely could have gotten out of it altogether, that would have cost me at least 4K in lawyer fees, so it was better to save the headache. 4. Be fair with the money, and look like you have compassion for his needs even in the divorce. Yes, he's a leech and a scumbag, but your husband is going to have certain legal rights, and when you early on show a willingness to try to be fair about things and adhere to state norms, it's less likely to go to trial, and once it does the judge is going to see you as the reasonable partner. Even if someone's not working, they're going to be entitled to some of the money in the bank accounts and they're going to need it to move out of your life in any kind of normal way. When I left, we had very little in the account, so I took half, and left him half. 
I helped with a couple of medical expenses the first two to three months, and then I sent him half the tax refund for that year. Would he have gotten that much in court? Probably not he's really good at pissing people off. Did it save me stress and animosity in the long run? Yes. In your case, if you're handling the bills and raising the child, you're entitled to way more than half five. Getting out of the same living space as quickly as possible is what's best for both of your mental health. Have your father prepare a 30-day notice the same day you talk to him. Tell him that if he moves out on his own before then, you'll split the cost of the U-Haul, or pay it, or whatever you think you want to do. Tell him if he makes your father evict him, then you're going to be hands-off and your father will proceed without any assistance or leeway through legal channels, leaving an eviction on his record which will make it much harder to find his next apartment. 6. You and your kid's safety is top priority. If you think he could be dangerous or volatile, don't be alone with him anymore, and put your phone on record in your pocket any time you interact. If he becomes a threat, the support will keep you safe at that moment, and the evidence will let you get protective orders to keep yourself safe long term. 7. Don't give mixed signals and I don't specifically mean sexual. When you're with someone for a long time, it's habit to want to stop them from being upset, or calm them down, and you might find yourself agreeing to being friends, to going to dinner, to saying, I don't know what the future holds, instead of, never getting back with you ever in life. 8. If things go badly for them, remind yourself it's not your fault. That man has been an adult for 15 years. He should have figured his shit out enough to hold a job and rent a room. And if he hasn't, that's a result of his choices. You need support. Someone to do this with you so that you are not alone with him. Some here for him to go when you say bye-bye, even if it is a car to sleep in. A lawyer will guide you though you can look up divorces online for your area and see what is recurried, that might save you some money to get things in place. A financial separation can be different than the full divorce and you might start with getting your finances separated beforehand. As the house is your father's and all the bills are yours that will make things much easier for you to not have any money to share. Debts I would make sure your accounts are locked down and that no one can open a card in your name. A credit check is also useful if you have debts in Comon you will know exactly where you stand. Look into renting a room or something to help you pay off the debts faster. Or could family members come stay with you? Start the ball rolling. You don't need to do everything at once. When you are ready you can serve him a notice to leave pack up his stuff and be ready, less problems from him hanging around that way. Good luck! This is how I did it. I waited until the child was at her grandma's. I sat down with him for lunch, and after we were done eating I said, I'm not going to be your wife anymore. He was stunned, though I had been very clear that his behavior was unacceptable to me. I had given him multiple chances to change, and the resentment was making me bitter. I did not want to be changed into someone angry and unhappy, I wanted to be joyful again. And now I am. He asked me again and again for one more chance, but I declined. He would have changed for a little while, but I had no faith in a lasting change. He didn't really want to do things differently, he wanted to keep reaping the benefit of my presence. Start with one simple declarative statement, and don't back down. Don't worry about what will happen to him. He's an adult, he will figure it out. You need to focus on doing what's best for your daughter. And in this case, doing what's best for you is also what's best for her. She needs a mother that is happy. A mother that can be dedicated to raising her, not to raising her plus being a mommy to a grown man. Go see the lawyer first. You don't have to tell your husband yet. See the lawyer and get prepared. Have them help you sort out how to keep the house, keep custody, and get him out of there. You only talk to him once you are ready, and have papers drafted. Worst case if you then have trouble saying it, or bringing it up, just hand him the papers. At the very least, take action now, and get that first consult with a divorce lawyer. Contact an attorney, have divorce papers drawn up, and hand them to him. He doesn't think you're happy, he knows you're miserable. He doesn't care because as long as you stick by him he can do whatever he wants and have his debts paid off. Hell. Can I be in a relationship with you? Stop being so naive and tell him to pound sand. Op. File for divorce and evict him. 
He's an adult, he can figure it out for himself. Speak to a lawyer before you say anything to him. Get guidance on getting him out of the house. And don't worry about doing that. He'll fall on his feet. His type always do. Stop paying his debts. Stop paying his bills, outside of household utilities. You will be so much better when he is out of the house and no longer dragging you down like the dead weight he is. Honestly, you just sit him down and tell him everything you said here. That he's checked out of your marriage and not being a good dad. That he's had lots of chances and you realized you're better off as a single mom. That you hope he gets therapy so you can put your baby first and co-parent well together. Get a lawyer, pack his stuff, and tell him to find a friend or family member to move in with while you separate a n n d finalize the divorce. And organize an exit plan in case he refuses to leave. But you can be separated while living together. My advice though is not to have sex again. You want to show the courts when divorce comes you were living together but apart as roommates while you set yourselves up for the next steps. Good luck ah. First thing you need to do is realize that, doesn't matter what I say he thinks we are happy, is not the truth, correct it too. He is happy cause he does fuck all. He knows I'm miserable, but doesn't give a fuck, because he's a selfish prat. Find out legally how to kick him out, divorce him. This loser has used you enough and he's never going to go without being made to. I'm filing for divorce. You need to find someplace to go. You have 30 days. You are far too worried apt his feelings and situation. He ain't thinking apt your feelings or situation. TLDR lawyer you're being financially and emotionally abused by a narcissist. He's abusing your child by neglect. Yeah, he's probably cheating. You say he works from home, so what's he spending all that money on fuel for? You need to get a lawyer's advice. Since you're married it's probably not as simple as serving him eviction. Also there's a child involved. You need to document his lack of child care efforts then sue for supervised custody on his part and child support. In my opinion you stopped having a reason to give a damn about him being homeless when he refused to buy groceries and spent his money on tattoos. You stopped being obligated to care about his housing when he accused you of cheating. He needs to get a regular job that actually can pay his bills. And if he doesn't, it's none of your business if he's homeless because of it. It's not your job to care about being responsible for him. If he doesn't care then he doesn't care. You are exponentially more concerned about his feelings and well-being than he is yours. Do you honestly think for even a second that if your positions were reversed he would hesitate to kick you, and your baby, considering how little he cares about her, out onto the street? Don't expose your kid to this misery. Children learn what relationships are supposed to look like from the ones we model for them. And for most kids their parents' marriage is the first they see and the one they learn from the most. If you stay, remember that you are teaching her that being treated like this by your partner is okay. I know you hate this life for you now imagine if she ends up in the same place you are with her own husband later in life. Do you want her to think you have to stay with him because he's, deliberately, too irresponsible to take care of himself? Or do you want to teach her to know her worth and to know when to say enough is enough and walk away? Your life will be much happier and easier without him. You say he's been a lazy slob for years. Why did you think having a kid would change that? The bit where you're worried about him and his reaction and his feelings? When are you going to stop allowing your entire existence to revolve around him? You don't have to hate him or be unkind, but prioritizing your needs over his is exactly the buck you're missing here. His feelings do not mean more than your mental health. And don't downplay your mental health either. From what you wrote, you're spiraling pretty hard, your quality of life is low lady, that's red alarm don't deprioritize. Just rip the bandage and read him this post. It's raw and honest that's what he deserves. Do not tell him yet. Contact a lawyer and start separating finances. I've been you before. It's not going to get better and he will not change. No more talking. File for divorce and hand him, or get someone else to hand him papers. You don't need a lawyer, but if you think he'll fight you, then definitely get one. The best way may be to hand him divorce papers ask him to move out. If he refuses to move out, hand him an eviction notice. Of course, 
This means that you will have to have hired an attorney and asked your dad to set up the eviction if there is any way he can do so legally. Don't wait, and you need not sigh a word. You've mentioned in your post and in some comments about how you don't want him to hurt and feel bad. Why is it okay for you to be miserable but not for him to be sad? The only person's happiness you should ever put before yours is your daughter. For both your sakes follow the great advice others have given you about seeing an attorney, getting your ducks in a row, preparing to evict him, etc. and put yours and your daughter's happiness first. It's time it's hard but you can do it and you'll thrive once you do. Not directing this at op but why would someone marry a person like this dude in the first place? Your baby deserves a happy mama and role model who doesn't put up with what you've had to with him. Ah, I just told my husband flat out. I'm not happy and I want out. I told him I had to for mental health because if I stayed I would be dead by the time I'm 50. I will be 47 in July. Since I told him I have never been happier or more relaxed.